Hey guys, Kevin Runlet with Runlet Law Firm. Today we're going to be talking about a situation in workers' comp, a question that came up from one of our viewers that said, you know, who is on my side in a workers' comp case? With a workers' comp case, there's going to be lots of parties involved. There's going to be the insurance adjuster. There's probably going to be a defense attorney that represents the insurance company. There's going to be your attorney if you have one. There's going to be possibly a nurse case manager. If you're having to go to doctor's visits, insurance companies oftentimes will hire a nurse that works for them and is paid by them to go with you to your doctor's appointments. So the question is, who can I trust and who's on our side? Well, first of all, your attorney that represents you is bound to be your advocate and on your side. If you sense anything but that, you should, you should question what's going on, potentially get another attorney. And that includes the attorney's staff. Our, our staff includes, if, you, if you're one of our clients, then and you have a workers' comp case, then you'll have a, a litigation attorney who's there to file documents and argue motions and help guide you through the process. You also have a separate client advocate who is also helping guide you through the process, set up doctor's appointments, make sure your questions are answered, make sure your temporary benefits checks are coming. You'll also be assigned a document attorney responsible for drafting the documents that have to be drafted and filed in a workers' comp case. So that's, that's your team. That's who's on your side. Now there's, there's some that depending on who it is that are involved in the case might be on your side when they're supposed to be on your side, but maybe they're not really. I'm referring to, first of all, let's talk about doctors. Your doctor should be on your side and most doctors are good and most doctors will give an honest opinion, but there are some who the insurance companies like for you to go to because they know that doctors going to give an opinion that's more likely in their favor. If you ever sense that your doctor's not on your side, if he doesn't listen to what you say, if he doesn't take what you say to mind, if he doesn't address the issues, then you need to question that. Uh, that's why in workers' comp, when an injured worker is sent to a particular doctor by the insurance company, that person has a right to choose their own doctor. And, and leave the care of that insurance recommended doctor. Next, let's talk about nurse case managers. I mentioned that earlier. <clears throat> Most of the time, we do not believe that it's in our client's best interest to have a nurse case manager travel with them to their doctor's visits, to talk with their doctor openly. Uh, it's just an invasion of, of our client's personal rights. And you have to keep in, in mind that that nurse case manager is paid by the insurance company. Many times we see that they cause friction, they cause problems, they're trying to push the case to where the, they want the doctor to say, okay, this person's fine, there's no problem, send them back to work. And that may not be true. Now there are a few good nurse case managers and there's a time and a place to allow their involvement, but we, as a general rule, do not allow nurse case managers to have any involvement, and it's, it's our client's right to tell them they can't come to these doctor's visits. That's a personal thing. You need to have confidence that you can speak openly with your doctor, not worry about someone else who's not your family member, um, who actually has an adverse interest. It's your right to make sure they're not there at these doctor's visits. So most of the time, we will take care of talking to the nurse case manager saying, hey, we, we just, it's our policy not to allow this to happen and it stops immediately. Um, who else? Well, you've got physical therapists that you may have to go to, same situation with them. Um, they should be on your side. If you sense that they're not, then question it. Talk to your attorney about it if you have an attorney. So that is pretty much what you have as far as who you can trust, who you should question, um, who's on your team, who's on your side. So I hope this helps. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button. Uh, 
Give us a like. If you have any comments or suggestions for videos just like this one, I'm happy to help out and, and put the information out there. Hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.